At one point, around 1.06 trillion, now closer to that 1 trillion mark. Kelly will keep an eye on those Tesla shares. At some point, it may take a rest, but for right now, it's still at record highs. Back over to you. What a move that's been, Dom. Thank you. And better than expected data this morning is helping push stocks to those records he talked about. Consumer confidence bounced back unexpectedly in October. September's new home sales hit a six-month high. Joining me now to react, Kevin Mon is president and chief investment officer at Henyon and Walsh. And Jim Karen is global fixed income portfolio manager at Morgan Stanley Investment Management. Welcome to you both. Jim, you see more bullish catalysts for stocks? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> um, I, you know, effectively, I think the data has been good. And in what we're seeing right now is, is a pretty steady chain of, of better than expected data. So the surprise indices are actually starting to rise much more aggressively, you know, at, at least in the fourth quarter. The third quarter, I think, was a little bit of a reset. But now what we're starting to see is the data really start to come into its own. I think that now, you know, once we get past the third quarter slump, I think the fourth quarter and even even looking into the first quarter as supply chain issues hopefully get better, um, this should be a positive going forward. And, and I realize I'm going out of order here, so my, my apologies, Kevin. What about you? When you look at bullish catalysts ahead, what's still out there if we're you know, now to the point of rattling off all the good news? Yeah, Kelly, with inflationary pressures likely to stay present for the foreseeable future, perhaps even be further exacerbated by additional fiscal stimulus and a delay in monetary tightening, we have a positive outlook for the balance of this year for U.S. stocks, although there may be more short-term bouts of volatility along the way. One area we particularly like is dividend-paying, value-oriented equities, those same stocks that may be benefited by the ultimate passage of an infrastructure spending bill that should benefit certain cyclical sectors that are generally more value-oriented.